cut you loose that. And you stick by the bathroom, huh? You are, kid. Don seems like a nice kid. Well, he is a nice kid. You're a good father to him. You don't understand. You don't look like a criminal type. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Got a wife, kids, nice family. Got a lot to lose. I don't quite understand why you jeopardize all of that for a couple of thousand dollars. It's not worth it. Well, you think I want to be in this shit? Obviously. Nobody forced you to do it. Two fucking minutes of your time to help me and none of this shit would happen. Two minutes. Hi, Don. Take good care of yourself. Alright. Stay put. So you like what you got? Oh yeah, I love it. Man, don't forget to tell your mama that. Hmm. Tell your grandma too, right? Okay. Hmm. Bye, Dad. Hey, Salt and we catch them. You put on a French fries and on the stick. What did you put in the ketchup? You can control exactly how much salt you get in each French fry. <laughs> Try it. Not bad. It's a good idea. Here's your wallet. So sorry. Oops. How many kids you got? Got three. This is my son Matthew. My daughter, Nina. My first wife. Those are old pictures. She and I never got along. Consequently, I never saw much of those kids. 
Oh, this one, Martin. It's an old picture, too. Kind of just grew up and got away from me, you know? And my wife, Megan. You know, Pinnock, I know we're going to work this out. I really do. You just let me you know, make a call to my wife. Let her know that I'm OK. And just have her stay on top of that business deal I was telling you about. You mean an awful lot to me. What do you say? I didn't mean for things to turn out the way they did. What way? When I come to your house, I stopped your car. I was just looking for what I had coming to me, what was right. But you didn't know who I was. Well, what is that? What are you saying? I'm fucked. Either way, I'm fucked. Why do you say that? You know who I am. So? I don't think I can let you go, Thad. I don't know if I can let you go. You want something else? Did you fill this up with water?
Are you all right? I don't know what I am. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Just get out. Listen to me. You get out of here! I knew I couldn't trust you. But you was just, you was just waiting to get a chance to leave. I know it. I know it. I started feeling sorry for you. I started making excuses for you. That you were, that you were poor, that you were ignorant. Fuck you. Inarticulate. I tried to justify what you were doing. There's no justifying you, Pinnock. Offered to pay you the money. I even offered to get you back your job. But no, that wasn't enough. Because you figure that the whole world owes you more than that. <laughs> the world don't owe me shit. You owe me something, motherfucker. I don't owe you a goddamn thing to hear me. So you lost your job. Lots of people lose their jobs. Tough luck. Get another one, goddamn. Give me these arms. Come on, give them to me. Your job and your family is your problem, not mine. But you. You blame everybody else in the whole world but yourself, you son of a bitch. Yeah, you had nothing to do with it, right? All me. And in fact, you wouldn't even understand a guy like me doing this. Because you, you would never do it. Never. I have too much respect for myself and other people to ever be a goddamn criminal. You smug motherfucker. What'd you do back there in the house? You broke in, right? That's breaking and entering. Is that against the law? And you, you, you popped that guy upside his head. Now, now, that's assault. Is that against the law? That's completely different. It's always different when it comes to you, isn't it? You talk too fucking much. Open up. <laughs> now, you the ignorant motherfucker. <laughs> 